guys, welcome back to Laura's Natural Life. And today, I apologize once again for the change of location. So, as most of you guys know, I ended up having to be hospitalized and then I had my baby Elliot uh, while I was on vacation in San Diego. It's turned into a very, very long trip. Today, I wanted to share with you my favorite holistic pregnancy resources. So this is a video I was going to do a long time ago and actually I did film it but the footage looked really bad and I just deleted it and decided I'd do it later on so here we are <laughs> doing it later on and of course being that I am not at home I don't have most of these resources to actually show you so I will put up pictures on the screen of each one that I'm talking about as we go Anyways, let's jump right in. First book that you have to know and read is, of course, Ina Mae Gaskin's Guide to Childbirth. So it's about having an all natural birth experience, um, different really empowering birth stories. She's like kind of the original midwife in America who is like bringing midwifery back and um, she has this great practice called The Farm where she delivers babies constantly of all different kinds of stories and backgrounds. So definitely check that out. So the next thing that I would highly recommend to everybody is a documentary on Netflix called The Business of Being Born. So this documentary was made by Ricky Lake, I believe a number of years ago, and it basically contrast having a natural birth with a midwife compared to a hospital birth and it really kind of scares you out of having a hospital birth and it shows you all the different kind of scary things that can happen when you're actually in a hospital that would not happen if you were at a birth center or you were at home and whether or not you choose to have your birth in a hospital or not i think it's definitely something that you would be interested in watching just for research because it might help make it really clear to you that you really don't want to be in a hospital. Um, but I have to say from my own experience, I highly recommend the hospital route if you have a good one with open-minded practitioners in your area. So the next resource I have is actually a podcast and it's the only pregnancy baby related podcast that I found that I think is worth listening to. There's so many of them out there and I'm sure I haven't listened to them all, but of the ones that I listened to, they were pretty like surface level or really mainstream and just like kind of dumb or the people narrating them were not very good podcasters but had good information. And this one is definitely a mixture of all of the things you want it to be. And it's called Birth, Baby, and Life. Uh, the person who runs it, her name is Kristen Burgess and she has like a plethora of resources online for natural pregnancy, natural parenting. And she actually does have like courses and books and one-on-one uh, -on -one consults too. But I really like her podcast. It doesn't come out very regularly, unfortunately, but she does do live YouTube videos a lot, which I actually don't watch, um, but I do get her newsletter and I see that she does those a lot. I just prefer to listen to her via podcast and definitely go back in her archives and download the ones that you think would be really relevant she has one that's my absolute favorite and i think it's something along the lines of being afraid of childbirth something about fear of childbirth you definitely definitely need to listen to it because so the next three that i have are actually bloggers or websites and the first is mommy potamus so the reason that i really enjoyed her is she has a ton of very well written and researched articles on specific remedies and herbs during pregnancy and breastfeeding. So when I first got pregnant, you guys have heard me talk about this a billion times. I had to go off a lot of my supplements, but um, I really needed to find alternatives for some of them or figure out if I could stay on some of them. And uh, she had a lot of great research. And then I basically took those sources that she cited and bought those books like the Botanical Safety Guide and the Oh gosh, now I'm forgetting. Um, like herbal safety books, textbooks, 
and did my own research about those herbs as well. So any kind of remedy that you're wondering is safe for pregnancy or breastfeeding, she's your girl. And then of course my next favorite is Mama Natural. And Mama Natural has like all of the things. So first thing you should do if you're pregnant is go to her website and sign up for her weekly pregnancy emails so they're kind of like what you get on your app like how big your baby is but they're a lot more in depth and more holistic in nature in that they kind of give you what's happening to your baby of course this week in development but also certain tests that are on the horizon the pros and cons of both she has a really good article on ultrasounds if you're debating how many ultrasounds you want to do or if you want to do them at all i plan to do two that plan got very much thrown out the window we had, I think, eight. seven or eight. 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 The hub says eight. We had eight. Um, three of which happened in a 24 hour, nope, I take that back. Yeah. Three of which happened in a 24 hour period and all but two of those happened within the span of a month. So um, that didn't happen. But <laughs> a lot of times you are going to have more control over that situation. She's really great for that. She also has really great weekly pregnancy videos from her last pregnancy. She has um, remedies, like if you get a cold during pregnancy, here are the safe natural things that you can take for it, etc. cetera. Um, safe remedies for morning sickness, stuff like that. And then she also has affirmation cards. You've heard me talk about her affirmation cards all of the t and like every pregnancy video like if you're pregnant you want to have a natural birth or a natural pregnancy you just want to have like a calm relaxed pregnancy of any kind and you like affirmations get her affirmation cards they're 16 dollars. they're so worth it they're adorably illustrated as well i actually do have those with me so i'll insert a little clippy clip but she also has a birth class and her birth class is taught by herself and a doula and nurse so the doula and nurse are the same people. She wears both hats and it's really educational. Next two are for my blogger friends. So the first one is Susie. Her blog is called Girl Gone Green and she just released like a 30 page holistic baby guide of like baby products that she has tried. She has two little girls so she has tried them with multiple children and knows what works and what is safe. And then also she has a couple of really really fantastic podcast episodes um, on healing yourself postpartum which I'll get to in a minute and also I just recently interviewed her for my new podcast that is coming out or maybe it's already come out by the time this video comes up I'm not sure my life is so crazy right now but if it's not out yet it will be out very soon and then my other blogger friend Jannie from Jannie Organically who has been so amazing to me during this crazy hospitalization birth living in the NICU situation has the world's best birth plan on her blog for you to check out things that you want to request things that you want to make sure you do not get and the reasons behind both um, and then a really great guide on how to take care of yourself in a healthful way during pregnancy as well so i will link those down below the last one i want to talk about is one that i actually have with me um, and it is called healing your body naturally after childbirth. So Susie actually interviewed this author, um, Dr. Jolene Brighton. She is a naturopath and th those interviews are phenomenal and really helpful. Um, but basically she made this book because she realized that once a woman has a baby, all the doctors care about is the baby. The mother's not really seen again. She's not really checked up on after that six week checkup, which isn't very thorough. And, um, most women have no idea how to take care of themselves after they have a baby and having just had a baby two weeks ago i can tell you that um i was hospitalized for a month beforehand the nurses could would not take their eyes off of me like could not leave the room for more than 30 minutes once a day i barely could pee by myself the day after i had a baby i saw a nurse one time i was chopped liver they wanted me out of the hospital as fast as possible they didn't even really stock me with anything they didn't tell me how to take care of myself. They just said, like, here's a list of things to watch out for. So it's kind of funny how pregnancy is treated as this like medical condition. And then after you've had a baby, when you actually really probably need a medical care, 
Western medicine has nothing to do with you. So that's where this book comes into play. You need this. It is so easy to read. Like I read this in an hour the first time because it's meant to basically be a guide that you can keep in your diaper bag and say you're having, you think you have mastitis, you flip to the page on mastitis, it tells you what to do kind of a thing um and they're all natural remedies and it goes through lab tests that you may want to ask your practitioner to run First, uh, last thing i want to just plug real quick is not a book a podcast a video anything like that highly consider chiropractic and acupuncture they're really going to help you be able to cope with all of your hormonal changes your physical symptoms and then chiropractic especially help your hips get in line to birth that baby. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for bearing with me in this crazy season of my life and all of my background changes. And thank you guys so much for all of your support and I will see you in the next video.